you looking at the camera? No, I'm looking over here. Why? Where my gotta, finger's at. You gotta look at Cause the camera. Because I gotta stop it here in a second. <laughs> you have to, okay, start over. <laughs> What's going on guys? Jessica and Zena here and we are at the Goodwill Bins. It is the first weekend off for Zena in six weeks because mm. it's peak season right before Christmas. So It's been four solid yeah. six, days, six days a week. Work so days. we're just here to have some fun. We weren't going to film but then we decided to at the last second. So you're getting this recorded on the phone but um, we're going to go inside and see if we can find anything cool. If we do, we'll give you a haul video at the end. Alright, see you later. Alright guys, sorry we didn't get a bunch of video when we first got here and um... I don't know. I'm gonna leave it because I don't want to risk it. They already started the uh, the first round of house goods, so we just jumped right in and, Check and this out. got it. Look. So we got to go through all this now. 30, that... 35 bucks. Kiki's delivery service. Oh, cool. I want this DVD so bad, and I don't have it. But great anime. This is a good beginner anime, but really cool. Somebody just left this laying out. Cool. It's been a, a decent morning. It's not very busy, so it's been pretty nice. Let me just give you a little before I get caught with the camera. We're over here by the books and everything, so it's not bad at all. Okay guys, check out this random Christmas Drake and Josh DVD. Look at these comps. Nine sold, one listed right now for over $100, but nine sold at least $70 for this DVD. That's insane. Hey guys, so we're back home now and we're gonna go over the haul. It has gotten a little bit windy, so Hopefully it doesn't come across the mic. We do have the wind muff on, so hopefully that'll take care of that. Um, we're also hoping that it doesn't rain soon. I can, I'm looking at clouds <laughs> off in the distance, but um, so let's go over the haul. We actually bought a good amount of stuff, like always. <laughs> How can you go to the bins and not buy a bunch of stuff when it's really good? We actually, we feel like we did pretty good this time and there was hardly anybody there. So uh, it was really nice. We got there just probably what, 30 minutes after open maybe? Probably, yeah. And th there was, there were a lot of people there at the bins, but it wasn't like it normally is. It wasn't elbow to elbow. There weren't a bunch of kids screaming and running. I don't think there was that many at all, really. It was, it definitely was less than normal, It got but a little busier as we were there. Yeah, but. it was really nice though. So for the first like hour or so, we were just kind of doing our thing, not worrying about other people. So anyway, let's get into it. I'll quit rambling and uh, let me give you a peek here. This is inside the back of the car. We have, our, we took our cart with us and we put these shirts over it so it wouldn't hit the window, but let's pull those off. So we've got the cart and the cart has some bags in it and we've got one bag back there of clothing that we were using to keep the cart from rolling. And then these few items down here that we didn't want to get broken. So we're gonna pull this uh, cart out and put it on the ground and we'll be right back. Okay, so we emptied everything out of the cart into the car. We're just gonna transfer as we go. So I guess, should we just start with this stuff right here? Sure. All right, so our first thing that we picked up is this, Zena found it. It is a department 56 house. I'm not sure on the uh, full value of it. There's the name of it if you guys want to look it up. But pretty nice little house. No chips or breaks oh, or anything. So the, the cord's broken. Oh, the cord's broken. But that's but just with the light bulb. We can replace that. That's yeah. no big deal. We actually have a spare one sitting on the motorcycle seat behind me. Yeah. <laughs> we got Thor's hammer. Found Thor's hammer. It does work. It makes uh, sound and light. This is like my favorite find. I actually saw a guy walking around with a... He walked right past me with a vintage super soaker and I was like, oh, that's sweet. And then I turned around and there was another one still there. So I grabbed that one. Really, really cool. We've got the Constitution Quest. This is a board game about the Constitution, but it sells consistently for like 30 to $35. Is that right? I, 25 to 35, that. I think, something like that. You said it was good and whoever owned it beforehand. Oh yeah, look at this. This is not what you find at the bins normally. This is very abnormal. Obviously, an adult would have bought this game, but <laughs> I can't see any kids sitting around playing Constitution Quest, but you never know. Um, my picture back here has a little nudity on me. Let me cover it just a touch, and then I'll show it to you. Okay, so here's my picture that I got. This is for our house. It's got a really cool rustic um, picture frame. Well, we might hang it in the house. I don't know. It may end up at our booth, but I just thought it was really, really cool, and I couldn't leave it. We also got this Geomag. This is actually sealed. Factory seal here and here. I looked this up on eBay and couldn't find a thing. 
nothing with just geo mag world nothing at all found it on amazon and these things sell they didn't have this castle one right now on amazon but there are plenty of other sets that are similar that are like 40 to 70 dollars depending on what they are so i don't know this actually might go to uh nephew xena's nephew but we will see and then we got can't go wrong with harry potter we checked this it looks like most everything's in there i think everything but the instructions is in there harry potter's been doing well for us in the booth so to play yeah we sell a lot of harry potter stuff does anyone want to start pulling stuff out of that bag sure we got an old tupperware cauldron that's cauldron colander colander there you go. <laughs> i'm sorry you're being a witch lady earlier so i'm just kidding i was not <laughs> so rude we scored a Friday five nights, nights at freddy's xena found this hopefully it's a valuable one it has a really nicely embroidered eyes it needs a little wash but yeah look it's got doo-doos on it so we're gonna have to wash it and hopefully it'll come clean and hopefully it's worth it uh this is for me okay just some rubber or plastic hosing tubing whatever barbie uh puzzle barbie puzzle very cool i counted the pieces in here i counted over 100 so i'm hoping that it's complete okay not real heavy though uh, we found a vintage this My Little cool. Pony uh, Ald Alden? No. Aladdin. Aladdin. This does Lunchbox. not, it's pretty dirty. It needs to be cleaned up, but this will be great in our booth because we do sell a lot of My Little Pony. So I think that'll be awesome. It's not, uh, it's a little flooded on eBay, honestly. Uh, there's some game pieces, like stuff for These are Battleship. Oth yeah, there's the Battleship ships. I've just shipped some of those out recently. Uh -huh. And then Othello pieces. I know that people sell the Othello pieces for... You know a few dollars for a couple of replacement pieces and then here's the instructions so there's some lego pieces in here there's some little people in here what's on the other side there's oh these crash bandicoot things uh -huh. these are really neat i don't know very cool um and we just found this random bag and started putting yeah. all the little stuff in there's it little, little tiny little things in there trinkety stuff we found this uh couple pokemon bowls i'm not sure what those are yet. i Ball. think these hold a figure in them. I figured them out. You spin it and then you press a button and it spins and opens like a lotus bloom in uh -huh. a way. But I'm wondering if these guys actually go in it and that's how you present them. Like when you throw a Pokeball in the cartoon, uh -huh. it opens like that and the Pokemon comes out. So I'm wondering if that's what it does. Here, you gotta. There you go. Oh, uh, I see. Not like a lotus, but you know, <laughs> even though I said lotus. But it holds some sort of figure in there. And then, so, we, I found these two, and then I found a, a paper bag that had these. all these Pokemon. Different Pokemon. In it. Yeah, they're really cool. They're almost kind of Lego like. I wonder if they're the Mega Blocks. Maybe so. Because the Mega Blocks are slightly different. But anyway, yeah. Those are, anyway, we'll check really, those out. really cool. We'll have to research those further for sure. We found this dude. This which is, is perfect like, for our booth. Very cool. It's piggy just bank like, or something? Some kind of piggy bank container. We're not 100% sure its original purpose, but it has a slot on top of it where the other ear would be, or kind of, where you could throw coins in it. So, really, really cool. That was one of the first things you found, I think. We got a couple of oh, yeah. uh, squishies. I found squishmallows. these little squishies. That one looks like it needs a little bit of a wash. Yeah, we'll throw them in the washing. No big deal. Squishmallows wash really well. Yeah. Put them into a pillowcase into your washing machine. They'll come clean. This one. More often than not. Uh, new with tags. For the booth, probably. We got this. Pro as long it's as it personal. works, this will probably be personal. It just needs batteries. This is a... It's, it, it almost doesn't work now. Battery operated lantern. We have a lot of storms here in Oklahoma, as a lot of you probably know. So extra lantern never hurts. And then I found a really cool looking Patron bottle and this was the topper on it. Uh, the, it's really heavy. It's metal. It is it's metal. It's like pewter, I think. Oh maybe. yeah, something. And so we left the bottle behind and just took the topper. I don't know if we can resell it or not, but we're going to find out. It's pretty cool. It was worth trying. Yeah. Uh, Ooh, sneak peek. Um, we got a vintage Tweety. Yeah, this is like 1995, I think, Tweety. The Geico. The Geico Gecko. Gecko, He's yeah. not worth a whole lot, but he might be a booth item. Because he's uh, And then Jess culture. is obsessed with... Um, extension cords. Extension cords. If I see a good extension cord, I buy it. There was two of those, right? Or did you get both of them? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Them. I found an LPS. Little Coyote. And then we found this vintage this is cool. uh, Mickey Mouse um, ornament. To, oh, it's getting the worst glare. Let's go into the car. Oh, man. It doesn't even want to focus. It's focusing on my hand. I'm sorry, guys. I'm trying. It's really cute, though. I love it. Okay. 
Uh, then we got, hold on a second. We got a Groot plush and we got another Squishmallow. It's a little uh, <laughs> cute. The, not zebra, giraffe. <laughs> giraffe. <laughs> It's cold. And it's cold. It's really I'm... cold. It has gotten considerably colder. Uh, just like the I sign. couldn't pass this up. How to live on fifteen dollars a week? Eight dollars for whiskey and beer. Your wife's beer, a dollar sixty-five. And it's like groceries, life insurance, cigars, candy. Uh, gosh, hot tips on horses, two dollars. <laughs> this means going to have to. Uh, this means going into debt. So cut wife's beer. <laughs> I, that's gonna sell in the in the uh, booth so fast. I already know. You already know, huh? Pretty funny. Great man cave stuff. Okay, we found another game. I want to play this. I'm gonna try to play it. It's called Hive. Here, unzip it. The little pieces are cool, and it has the instructions in it, so we can play it. Oh man, you made a huge mess. <laughs> they all have little like mosquitoes. Ooh, the spider is creepy. Ooh. Ladybug. There's a bee. Really cool. I think it looks fun. We'll see. I'll have to look at the instructions to see if it's as cool as it looks. Uh, I'm sure some kid would dig it. Yeah, me. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Another extension cord. This is for me. I'm obsessed. I can't help it. Extension cords are expensive. What was this thing again? This is a wireless charger. I want to try that on my phone. Okay. I'm going to leave it out. We've, I found this Tupperware hat. It needs to be cleaned up, but... I could not find this exact Tupperware hat on eBay. I need to um, research it further. You can see it's got some little speckles all over it, but I think that Xena can probably get that clean. She's yeah. normally pretty good at it. We will see, though. It's a good experiment hat. Uh, I found a um, the TARDIS from uh, Doctor, Doctor Who. Doctor Who, yeah. Really cool ornament, Christmas ornament. ornament. I thought that was cool. Sell in the booth. Um, I also found this. This We're, is really do some cool. research on it, but it What's is. It say? I don't know. Las. Las Hogas? Las Hoyas? I don't know. Something. Really cool and old it's box. Wooden. Uh, they're so cool. Oh, that one's broken. There's a couple of them that are broken. You're right. You did say that, didn't yeah, you? But they're that. still really neat. Somebody may still buy them. Let's hope. If not, we might put them in the booth too. Somebody might uh, be interested. I just thought in it was the super booth. cool. So the box is what gets me. Okay, and we got our first aid kit. We'll this probably is for us. It's yeah. full of brand new stuff. Yeah, we'll probably uh, put it into a different kit, but there's a we wanted to mess around with it. There's a little Wi-Fi camera that you uh, <laughs> a little put smart into, camera, yeah. You put into like a socket for a light socket. There's another little camera accessory and another little camera accessory. So, so we're gonna play around with that. Didn't weigh much, so pretty cheap. Oh, extension cord. <laughs> I love these. If you can find these, you, where you step on it, we have our Christmas tree plugged into this. So you just walk over and step on the button and it flips your tree on. Love it. So here's a, a bunch of little magnets. This is a little figure. It's a um, Cherish... Uh, Corning wire. Cherish Teddies is this little oh, one. Oh, that one. Yeah, there's a salt and pepper shaker. And then there's a whole bunch of different little magnets for the fridge. Random vintage fridge magnets. Great for the booth. It looks like the, the tote that I found those in, it looked like someone had just dumped them all off of a refrigerator in there. This is a uh, New Orleans um, ashtray, and it is from Victoria Ceramics, it looks yep. like. made in Japan. Made in Japan. So it, it just looks really cool. pretty. Um, and then we found this bag of lights. But just a bunch of bulbs. These actually fit our uh, ceiling fans, so just handy. Tiles for uh, games? These are um, like scramble tiles, but they're kind of unique looking. Okay. Now that I said that, i got to show you at least one. There you go. They're like translucent. They're different. Pretty neat. Whole bag full. Ooh. Oh, I'm cold. Yeah, it's cold. You got a hoodie on. Um, and then I found these last minute. They are in rough condition, but we're gonna wash them and see if they'll come clean. We may have to spray them. So it's all for the Looney. Uh, I don't know about this one. Baby those. Looney Tunes. Oh, yeah, it they is. are. It, it is. is baby Looney Tunes. Um, it's the this guy needs some dental Tyco. work for sure. They're the Tyco ones. But yeah, they're Tyco. They sell in good condition. They sell for about 15 to 20 bucks a piece, I think is what I saw. Um, but we're going to wash them up and hopefully they'll could come good and clean. We may sell them as a lot if they do come clean enough. Found a bunch of another little bunch of stuff. There's some uh, Tez dispensers. Sorry, we could just push down here. There's like a SpongeBob figure and a Porky Pig and who is that? Guy? That's Stitch. Stitch, that's it. Stitch. I couldn't. Oh, he's got his eyes closed. I was like, he has no pupils. <laughs> <laughs> that Porky Pig is interesting looking. He, is he older? No, I guess not. 
Yeah, just some more random toys for the booth. We because we sell dollar toys. Um, we found this right here. It's gonna go to uh, one of our fam uh, sisters or yep. something. My sister's gonna take that, I think. Yeah, for the kids. It's like to store baseball equipment. A um, couple of new cassettes. Just about broke one. I can just lot these together and sell those on eBay, no problem. And then the rest, eight bucks or so. This bag is filled with lots of media. The everybody loves Raymond is for me. Lots of VHS, good VHS. Um, where are those DVDs? I want to show them that one DVD you wish you guys would have already seen a little clip of. Oh, found this one here for myself. Look at that, Nintendo 64 VHS in amazing amazing condition this is going in personal collection i already have vhs protectors so that's going to go into a clear plastic protector right away um we've got children of the corn storm of the century which i already have storm of the century but this is uh a screener oh i wish that would focus screener trailer version this is not for resale this is really really cool um what else where is it a couple of John Waynes that are sealed, some cool cassettes, Bon Jovi, Sticks is in here, Top Gun. This Purple People Eater tape, I think I saw was around 15 or 20, which shocked me, but really cool. Okay, here we go. Here's the one. This is a huge bolo, guys. I picked this up because it was a Christmas one and because it was Nickelodeon. And Drake I and Josh, hello. Well, I mean, okay. I never was a huge Drake and Josh fan, but... I know that Nick, some Nickelodeon stuff is collectible, and especially if it's older and you can't stream it. This threw me off. I saw, like, the very first listing that popped up when I scanned it was, like, $100. It has, what was it, like, just a couple of them listed in, like, 11, I think, sold. I mean, just crazy, and, like, bottom of the barrel is, like, 68 60 bucks, yeah. $70, dollars, something like that. So, if you see Drake and Josh, Merry Christmas, pick that up. Uh... Yeah, still can't get over that. That was a crazy one, but yeah, just some other random media. Uh, my Demon Lover, I couldn't pass it up because it's hilarious. I, not that I've watched it, but Don't look lie. at that cover. I've never seen it. Swear it. Okay. Swear it. Are we going through all the clothes? All right, we'll show you the clothes real quick. We're going to put this down. We'll show you the clothes real quick, and then we'll get out of here. What happened to 60 degrees, weatherman? You lied. Okay, so while I was uh, just getting into clothing, Zena was already digging along. I saw a lady pick these up. These are Wrangler FR, which is flyer, flyer, Fit. fire, fire resistant, <laughs> fire resistant. Anything that has FR on it, definitely look it up. I've done really well with FR stuff. I actually just shipped off a Wrangler FR shirt, like long sleeve shirt, shirt that a welder would wear. These are fire resist resistant jeans. They cost quite a bit to start when they're brand new. These are in really, really good condition. These are um, definitely $25, no problem. Everything I was seeing was selling for about 25 and they have over 100% sell through rate. So definitely look for FR stuff. These I was not gonna pass up. These little vintage Gymboree overalls for like a toddler. The tag is really easy to read. Normally they're washed out when they're older like this. These have got to be like 80s or 90s, but so cute. And I think these are good solid 15, 20 bucks. Okay, we got, got the... Just some t-shirts. I love listing t-shirts. They're quick and easy. Miller High Life. Good graphics, Miller High Life. This Fripp, I don't know what it is. The only sold comp I saw for a used was $25, which surprised me, so we grabbed that. We got... A Bucky's t-shirt. It is dated 2022, but it's new with tags. Not every day you see that. Bucky's stuff normally sells really well for us. We got a few pair of overalls. We got these uh, old key overalls. Looks like that's another pair of key right there. Yeah. We got two pair that are the key brand. Those sell for around 20 to 25 a piece. And then the same goes for this other pair that we picked up, Big Smith. Okay, so this is a Thunder Valley hoodie. Thunder Valley is a uh, local raceway here, and this is like a Y2K era hoodie, so really cool. I think this will do well in our booth. The North Face always sells well. Good clean, no spots. That was a pretty, pretty good find. Okay, so this t-shirt, I had to hold it up and show it to Zena. She didn't catch what it was at first. It says Buffalo Bills. Some of you horror fans may recognize this butterfly. And it says body oh. lotion. 
it's a moth and a skull. I didn't mean to say butterfly. But so Buffalo Bills from Silence of the Lambs uh, puts, it what's puts it? the lotion on its skin or it gets the hose again. Yeah, that's, so this is a funny <laughs> reference to that. So I was not passing that up. It does have some uh, staining and stuff, but really cool Hogwarts uh, tank top. Harry Potter branded. I think that'll do well. 10, 12 bucks maybe. This Planet Hollywood Las Vegas just looks so cool. It's distressed. It's Y2K era. It does have some pinholes, but I think that adds to it because of the distressing and stuff. So I think that will sell, no problem, at least 20 bucks. Budweiser. Budweiser King of Beers. Just a basic old graphic tee. I just thought it was cool. So that should be probably 10, 15 bucks. This one is Y2K era also. We've got a uh, Let Freedom Ring. Just a cool patriotic shirt that's vintage so Zena picked up this Bass Pro Shops this is also like Y2K I believe look at that spell out down the arm didn't the other arm have something oh yeah. it's tucked in there made in Mexico of US components yes so that's from like around the year 2000 2002 something like that uh, this was just a really nice uh, OU Sooner shirt it is 47 brand we sell a lot of the 47 brand hats so I thought that might be a good one We've got uh, Sicky's Garage. This should be a good 15% or 15%, $15 sale at least. Sicky's Garage stuff normally does pretty well. I'm gonna show you the back of this one. Okay, this is a two-sided. I picked this one up just because I think it's pretty cool. It is St. Anthony Sand Dunes, Dead Horse Bowl, Devil's Dune, Devil's Staircase. Just a cool shirt. And then we got the Santa Cruz skateboarding shirt. This one has been cropped here, but I still think that it'll sell no problem. Crop tops are kind of in style it is um december but who knows this was the first piece of clothing for sure that i picked up i just randomly saw it somebody had set it down this is from kiki's delivery service which is a really popular anime you've got the embroidered cat you got kiki in the cat on the broom on the chest just a really really nice little cardigan this should be at least 30 to 35 dollars i think is what i saw in comps is this the last one yes it is. all right last shirt We've got the Medieval Fair. This is a big event that happens every year here in Oklahoma. People love it. It is super busy. It's super fun. It's like a whole weekend event. This is from the year 2000. I think this shirt will sell so fast in our booth and it's a great size. I think it's a 2X. Yeah, 2XL. Really, really cool shirt. So yeah, um, it's really darn cold out here, so... <laughs> the temperature has dropped. <laughs> um, we had a really good time at the bins. We weren't there for too terribly long, but I think we did I think we did really, really well. I just need to get this stuff listed, so... I uh, appreciate you guys hanging out with us this long. If you like this kind of content, let us know in the comments down below. We definitely want to make the kind of videos that you guys like to watch and that we have fun making, so... Let us know. We'd love to hear from you. If you would like, subscribe, hit that notification bell. We would appreciate it. See you, See you guys time. on the next time. Bye.